Good evening and salam ibu Tiriko. Teachers in the nation's second largest school district are expected to strike for six school day on Tuesday as talks between Los Angeles Unified and United Teachers Los Angeles continue. The union say on Monday that teachers are due to back at picket lines on Tuesday morning even an agreement is reached Monday, saying it takes to mobilize a ratification vote for a deal. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti remain, remain upbeat as he mediate the fifth day of marathon negotiation at City Hall on Monday. Tens of thousands of educators walk off the job and on to picket lines on January 14 for the first time in 30 years. The Union and LA Unified School District are at odds over issues including salary, class size and support staff. This district is about 600,000 students in K-12. Schools have stayed open during the strike with a skeleton staff. More than 1,000 firefighters from across the US and Canada who are in Los Angeles as part of an international conference are scheduled to march on behalf of striking educators on Tuesday. North Carolina judge was scheduled for, to hear arguments on Tuesday into declaring the Republican in the country's last undecided congressional race the winner despite an investigation into whether his lead was boosted by illegal vote collection tactics. I am not convinced that the activities that have occurred that I've read about up to now would have changed the outcome of this election. And I think that ultimately it's very important for folks to look at the practical. Now don't get me wrong, I mean I think that this was an stroke of genius on the part of the other side to put us in this position. Because the reality is we want to do anything possible to fight and stop voter fraud. A trial judge in the state capitol was expected to hear lawyers for candidate Mark Harris argue that the now disbanded elections board was supposed to have declared him the winner in November, delayed acting to sort out balut fraud allegations, and now can't certify him as the winner. The question surround a political operative in rural Baldwin County, Leslie McCray Dollars, who worked for Harris' campaign at the candidate's insistence. Dollars have declined interviews and a statement by his attorney said he is innocent of any wrongdoing. More than a dozen witnesses signed sworn affidavits aligning that dollars or people working for him collected incomplete and unsealed ballots from voters. It's illegal for anyone other than a close relative or guardian to take a person's ballot. France data privacy watchdog fined Google 50 million euros, 57 million USD equivalent on Monday. The first penalty for a U.S. tech giant under new European data privacy rules that took effect last year. The National Data Pro Protection Commission said it fined the U.S. internet giant for lack of transparency, inadequate information and lack of valid consent regarding an ad personalization for users. Even though many tech multinationals like Google are headquartered in the U.S., they still have to comply with the new rules because they have millions of users in Europe. The Commission said Google users were not sufficiently, sufficiently informed about they were agreeing to as the company collected data for targeted advertisement. The Commission acted on complaints by two data protection advocacy groups, NOYB.EU and La Quadrature DNet, filed immediately after GDPR took effect. Google said in a statement it is deeply committed to transparency and user control as well as GDPR consent requirements. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Kamaruddin Bujang. Salam, Ibu Tiriko.